in Greek mythology, and Daimon, was variously a handsome Aeolian shepherd, hunter, or king who was said to rule and live at Olympia in Elis, and he was also venerated and said to reside on Mount Litmus in Caria, on the west coast of Asia Minor. There is confusion over the correct location of Endymion, as some sources suppose that one was, or was related to, the Prince of Elis, and the other was a shepherd from Caria Euro, or, a later suggestion, an astronomer, Pliny the Elder mentions Endymion as the first human to observe the movements of the moon, which accounts for Endymion's love. As such, there have been two attributed sites of Endymion's burial, the citizens of Heraclea ad Latmo claimed that Endymion's tomb was on Mount Litmus, while the Elens declared that it was at Olympia. However, the role of lover of Selene, the moon, is attributed primarily to Endymion who was either a shepherd or an astronomer either profession providing justification for him to spend time beneath the moon. Accounts Apollonius of Rhodes is one of the many poets who tell how Selene, the titan goddess of the moon, loved the mortal. She believed him to be so beautiful that she asked Endymion's father, Zeus, to grant him eternal youth so that he would never leave her. Alternatively, Selene so loved how Endymion looked when he was asleep in the cave on Mount Litmus, near Miletus in Caria, that she entreated Zeus that he might remain that way. In either case, Zeus granted her wish and put him into an eternal sleep. Every night, Selene visited him where he slept. Selene and Endymion had fifty daughters who are equated by some scholars with the fifty months of the Olympiad. According to a passage in Dionysophistae, the sophist and dithyrambic poet Lysimnius of Chios tells a different tale, in which Hyphnos, the god of sleep, in awe of his beauty, causes him to sleep with his eyes open, so he can fully admire his face. The bibliotheque claims that, Calice and Anathlius had a son Endymion who led Aeolians from Thessaly and founded Elis but some say that he was a son of Zeus. As he was of unsurpassed beauty, the moon fell in love with him, and Zeus allowed him to choose what he would, and he chose to sleep forever, remaining deathless and ageless. And Diamond had by a naiad nymph or, as some say, by a Phoenissa, a son Aetilus, who slew a piece, son of Pharonius, and fled to the Curetian country. There he killed his hosts, Doris and Laodocus and Polypoetes, the sons of Thea and Apollo, and called the country Aetolia after himself. According to Pausanias, Endymion deposed Climnus, son of Cardes, at Olympia. Describing the early history of the Elens, Pausanias reports that, the first to rule in this land, they say, was Alethlius, who was the son of Zeus and of Protagonia, the daughter of Deucalion, and the father of Endymion. The moon, they say, fell in love with this Endymion and bore him fifty daughters. Others with greater probability say that Endymion took a wife Asterodia Euro others say she was Chromia, the daughter of Itonus, the son of Amphictyon. Others again, Hyperip, the daughter of Arcasa Euro, but all agree that Endymion begat Paean, Epius, Aetilus, and also a daughter Orisida. Endymion set his sons to run a race at Olympia for the throne. Epius won and obtained the kingdom, and his subjects were then named Apeans for the first time. Of his brothers they say that Aetilus remained at home, while Paean, vexed at his defeat, went into the farthest exile possible, and that the region beyond the river Axius was named after him Paeonia. As to the death of Endymion, the people of Heraclea near Miletus do not agree with the Elens for while the Elens show a tomb of Endymion, the folk of Heraclea say that he retired to Mount Litmus and give him honor there being a shrine of Endymion on Litmus. Pausanias also reports seeing a statue of Endymion in the treasury of Metapontines at Olympia. Propitius, Cicero's Tusculani questions, and Theocritus discuss the Endymion myth to some length, but reiterate the above to varying degrees. The myth surrounding Endymion has been expanded and reworked during the modern period by figures like Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and John Keats in his 1818 narrative poem Endymion. Background. No explicit narrative has survived. In Argonautica the daughter of Titan, the moon, was witness to Medea's fearful nighttime flight to Jason, and rejoiced with malicious pleasure as she reflected to herself, I'm not the only one then to skulk off to the Latman cave, nor is it only I that burn with desire for fair in diamonds she muses. But now you yourself it would seem, are a victim of a madness like mine. 
Lempriere's classical dictionary reinforces Pliny's account of Endymion's attachment to astronomy and cites it as the source of why Endymion was said to have a relationship with the moon as she passed by. The mythem of Endymion being not dead but endlessly asleep, which was proverbial ensured that scenes of Endymion and Selene were popular subjects for sculpted sarcophagi in late antiquity, when after death existence began to be a heightened concern. The Louvre example, found at saint mar copyright d'Arrands, France, is one of this class. Some believe that he was the personification of sleep, or the sun set in, and duane dive, which would imply a representation of that sort. Latin writers explained the name from somnum early inductum, the sleep put upon him. The myth of Endymion was never easily transferred to ever chased Artemis, the Olympian associated with the moon. In the Renaissance, the revived moon goddess Diana had the Endymion myth attached to her. Notes References Apollodorus Apollodorus, The Library, with an English translation by Sir James George Fraser, FBA, FRS. In two volumes. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. London, William Heinemann Limited 1921. Robert Graves. The Greek Myths 1960, 64 AC. Paul Zanias, Description of Greece W. H. S. Jones. Loeb Classical Library. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. London, William Heinemann Limited Volume 1. Books E. Euro 2, ISBN 0-674-99104-4. Plato. Plato in Twelve Volumes, Volume 1 Translated by Harold North Fowler. Introduction by W. R. M. Lamb. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. London, William Heinemann Limited 1966. Carl Carinii. The Gods of the Greeks. London, Thames and Hudson, 1951. Hyginus. Fabuli, 271. Natalia Agapia. In Diamond or Car 4. La Fortune Litter Copyright Rallye Re Artistique du Mythe da Euro Unregistered Trademark and Diamond a la Euro Unregistered Trademark Orb de la Euro Unregistered Trademark Are Modern, ISBN 3 7861 2499X. External links, a known author. Diana and in Diamond circa 1700 1730 by Francesco Solimina. Artwork of the Month. National Museums Liverpool, Walker Art Gallery. Retrieved February 24, 2008. The works by Gerard de Leres, Franz Flores, in RKD and Build Index, see the AL. Icon Class Browser. CS1 Maintenance, Explicit Use of AL. Diana and in Diamond Painting by Pierre Subleros.